chance to fight with either the winner of S2H or Zale in loser semis. Let's see how things go on. Game one between Snake and Mario. Yep. And of course, Snake, no strangers to SoCal here. We got a Key? lot of representatives of Key, for example, and then we got Armando, too, from San Diego. Uh, glad he could uh, come out to these kinds of events here. Um, a little bit away from home, but still uh, getting some good practice in. But already Master Mario able to break the zone here, trying to get a quick combo in and uh, start off with 40% onto Armando already. Okay, gets the grab into the down throw, sets up the couple up here, the classic coming up from Master Mario. Oh man, he saw he was going to go high. Yeah, still clipped him at the end there. There's a C4 on the ground, just on the red portion of the Pokeball. Oh, good tech chase, the forward tilt. Yeah, I actually thought that he was going to try to tech roll away to avoid the C4, but Armando was two steps ahead and then just read that and then able to get that forward tilt afterwards. High recovery though, how does he make it back? He tries to use a Nikita to protect himself, it does work out actually. And uh, now it looks like Master Mario is going to have to try and look for the kill right now. Yeah, he's kind of moving out here, but the minute he's moving Armando, he really starts setting up the projectiles here, the, the grenades. Oh, he does one way to do it. Yeah. Um, doesn't, doesn't quite get the, the kill on that, though. I was actually kind of surprised there. Man, That's kind know. of what we saw at G6 this past weekend, right? A lot of the players started to capitalize on Snake's high recovery there. They started to look ways to get him when he's in the air. Don't let him come. Don't let him be in the skies for too long. You definitely punish him. And Master Mario not afraid to show that. Even though he's not getting the kills, it does let Armando know, hey, man, I can't really hang out too high for too long. Yeah, Master Mario is saying, okay, you got enough tilt. I got enough smash. Let's go ahead and trade stocks here. Bring it to a Smash 4 scenario here. Two stocks apiece here. Not too much percent on either person. And I like that he's throwing out the fireballs just to take away the threat of the grenade. That fire touching it will be able to detonate them. Yeah. So it's keeping him at, and some explosives at bay. So it looks like a Michael Bay movie right now. <laughs> there. Okay, back air. It's their stepper. Immediately gets the down air out of the shield. That's one thing Massimo also has to respect. Usually get the uh, classic from Snakes. They like to do the down air out of shield. But he gets the grab. He's a couple pummels here. Immediately goes for the up finisher, but he's not going to land. There's the Nikita here. And I like how Master Mario is pacing himself in this match in general. You, because one of those things is that sometimes you, you see all these grenades, these projectiles coming in. That's going to be another stock, actually. Great stuff. But uh, Third time's a charm. Well, sometimes what happens is that you get a little bit too caught up in the moment. And you're thinking to yourself, oh, shoot, I got to get in before like all these grenades start blowing up in my face, but you do have a little bit of a time window. As soon as he tosses a grenade, you have about two and a half seconds. So once he's putting himself in that strafe mode, you can see Master Mario then tries to go in, just power through the grenade and get his combo started then. Yo, man, but Snake up tilt got a buff. Of course, missing that grab. Master Mario, unfortunately, got hit by that up tilt, though. But both players have even stocks, not percent. Master immediately good option from AC. I'm sorry, Armando. Getting an ultra out of the shield. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just blinked and he got hit by a Snake Nair. And then you just got deleted into 57%. Yeah. That was pretty it hurts, dude. Yeah. That Even the sounds like are so deep. You can tell like, oh, he was not afraid. I'm telling you, man. I mean, that's what we saw at G6. We saw a lot of players just go out and punish Snake for being in the air. Yeah. You, you want to be in the air? Fine. Stay in the air and die. Yeah. I mean, that's uh, one of the first things when NVD won Don't Park in the Grass. Sam Sora just tweeted out, this is how you do it. You just take out yeah. them in the air, but, uh, Python, 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 uh, Python, Python 94. Yes. You said it right. Thank, P thank you so much for the sub. I don't know how many months. 25 months. 25 months. That's more than me. That's over two years. Thank you so much <laughs> for the sub there. But here we go. Going into game two. We're going to town and city. You know what? We went from the lowest ceiling in the game to the highest ceiling in the game. Yeah. So uh, uh, for all you uh, players from Smash 4, yes, this, this is now the highest ceiling in the game. This is going to be a little bit getting used to, even for myself. But I like here it we though. Are. A bit of a change. Uh, quite a popular stage for its low ceiling, of course. Oh, but he immediately presses the there trigger. Uh, I don't know if that, was, that fair was the one he wanted. It has a lot of startups, so it gave Master Mario enough time to be able to get things started. And I like that using the platform. Going towards the skies to try and avoid like a get up attack or something like that. Couldn't get a conversion off of it, but still keeping Armando on his toes when he's on the defense. It's a forward throw into the up air. Oh wow! That Ooh. grab looked like it shouldn't have connected, but I don't know. I don't know if AC like extended his hurt box. Oh, the enemy or chaser like that. there, and unfortunately, that's what Nico likes to call it for those of you who want to go on the up tilt. Great spacing from Armando there, respecting the neutral get up from Master Mario. Of course, yeah, I'm a little bit scared. So you have to yep. pick one of those options. If you went for an uh, error option there, AC would have been about the up tilt either way. 
Wow, actually a really smart option. Went for the back throw, the grenade exploded while he was still in hand. And he <laughs> was at low percent, so he didn't have enough hit stun, so he went in with a back air extension afterwards. Master Mario making the most out of it. Usually snakes like to try to use the grenades to get out of situation with trades, and since he's heavy enough, he can survive most of them. But Master Mario making the most out of it, and then extending into his own combos as well. <laughs> he pulled the trigger, but at the wrong time. Master Mario right there, just to meet him in the Trying to see if Master Mario has headphones right now because uh, the, the C4 is one of those things that you kind of have to react to unless you're watching Snake pull Visuals, out his yeah. thumb. Yeah, but uh, yeah, he, he pulled out the C4 and then Mar Master Mario said, "Okay, I have enough time to just hit you with this back air, and I'm not gonna get hit by the explosion, so let's work things out here." Okay. There's the back air. Uh, those trades work out in both ways. I mean, they're just getting into higher percent, but both these characters have good kill potential. Oh man, immediately landing with the Nair Master Mario, putting in a world of hurt against her money. The minute he lands, spends time to try to go meet him up in the air with the up B, not gonna connect this time around. But the threat always lingers. Yep, decides to keep out his space and just ignore that grenade there. Goes oh. in with the up smash, still not enough to take it though. I like the fact that AC didn't have a C4 on the ground and he threw it down where, just trying to catch Master Mario approaching the these guys. Back air though, great space, charges up the water there. Yeah, Master Mario is doing an amazing job of just <laughs> catching the disadvantage state. Usually, um, Snakes, what they like to try to do is like be reverse grenades or Nikitas yeah. to try and get that micro spacing away, but Mario has such strong, long lasting, and large hitboxes with that bear. It goes a very long distance, especially for his honor, uh, where uh, people try to defend themselves. Enemy and Chaser coming out here to play. Master Mario able to dodge it. Great spacing from Armando. They lay him down to rest. Yeah, that was actually unfortunate for AC. He could have gotten a down throw into a guaranteed up tilt to get the stock, but the grenade was there, so it actually interfered with his potential kill option there. Great pickup with the up air out of shield, and we're going to see a fair to take out that next stock. And this is loser's quarter, so that's Master Mario. <laughs> he stood up moving too. on. He stood up there. Like, damn, you really got hit by that. <laughs> Look at him, dude. He's happy about it. He gave him the 20 and a handshake. 